Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope that all of you are okay. Today, inshallah, we are going to start our first lesson in this semester, second semester for seventh graders. I know that you used to be with teacher Riyad Islam, but in this semester, you are going to start taking lessons with me. I'm teacher Tamara Ayad, so I hope that we are going to do a great job and a great things together, inshallah, in this semester. So, uh, inshallah, tamam bitkunu ya sabah. أكيد أنتوا بالفصل الأول كنتوا مع الأستاذ إياد أصلان ولكن لظروف معينة الأستاذ إياد أصلان ما رح يكمل معاكم الفصل الهاد سو رح يكون معاكم أنا مستمارة إن شاء الله رح أكمل معاكم وإن شاء الله إنه جميعا رح يكون بيننا أو رح نعطي شغل كتير ممتاز مع بعض ورح يكون فصل كتير رائع وإن شاء الله قريبا بدأم عن المدرسة وبتعرف عليكم جميعا so this is English word level seven. هاي طبعا كتابك انت اللغة الإنجليزية الموجود معك اللي هو English word level seven اللي هو طبعا كتاب English word المستوى السابع. We are going to start with unit six. رح نبلش ب unit six word a character. Is a type of text that we're going to read. It's called the description of a character. It's going to be a description of a character. We are going to talk about the description of a character, but it doesn't mean only one character. There are other descriptions. So many adjectives that we are going to what we are going to hear in this lesson. كتير في عنا adjectives رح نسمعها وهي عبارة عن description. Description يعني وصف وإلى آخره. Okay, so what is our lesson title? It is Mr. Duffy's workshop. So this is your teacher, Tamara Ayad. We are going to start our new lesson in Unit 6, Mr. Duffy's workshop. If you please look here at this, these two pages, please. Look at these two pages. Please, now all of you open your box on page 58 and 59. كلنا هلا يا مس نطلع على الصفحتين الموجودين عنا هون اللي هي page fifty eight and fifty nine. Look at the first picture. The first picture it is the courtyard of Mr. Duffy's house. إذا بتطلع هون على هاي ال picture هاي ال court اللي هي ال courtyard اللي هي الباحة الخلفية أو الساحة الموجودة ببيت Mr. Duffy. And this is what this is Mr. Duffy's workshop. This is Mr. Duffy's workshop. هاي طبعا البصورة هاي هي ورشة Mr. Duffy. And you can see Mr. Duffy. He's leaning here. يعني هو he was leaning on the work. أو خلينا نحكي on the table اللي مخصصة لا إيش لإنه يشتغل عليها. And this is who this is George. So first, before we start anything, before we start saying anything or talking about anything, let's listen to the listen from the Navy speaker. خلينا نسمع مع بعض الدرس كامل. Okay, بدي اياكم تسمعوا الدرس كامل من النيفي سبيكر، بعد هيك we are going to classify or divide the lesson into paragraphs. بعد هيك ان شاء الله رح شو نعمل؟ رح نقسم الدرس ل paragraphs. So please listen carefully to the lesson. خلينا نسمع الدرس، اوكي؟ ونسمعه بتمعن، بعد هيك انا ان شاء الله رح اقرا لكم paragraphs paragraph. 59 Reading Mr. Duffy's Workshop Grandfather wanted George to go to Mr. Duffy's house to collect a present. The present was for George's little cousin, Sally. Mr. Duffy phoned this morning, Grandfather told George. He's finished. Would you mind going now? George didn't mind going at all. He loved to go to Mr. Duffy's house at any time. He loved talking to Mr. Duffy about his work. Most of all, he was fascinated by Mr. Duffy's tools. A few minutes' walk brought George to a tall house. He knocked on the old wooden door. After a few moments, Mrs. Duffy opened it. Come along in, George, she said. Mr. Duffy is in the workshop. She walked ahead of George along a short passageway and stopped at the open kitchen door. George caught a glimpse of bowls of plums and peaches on the kitchen table. 
a delicious smell of simmering fruit wafted past his nose. Mrs. Duffy pointed to an open doorway where bright sunlight fell across the single step. You know your way, don't you, George? George nodded. Thank you, Mrs. Duffy, he said. George stepped into the small courtyard, brilliant with flowers cascading in streams of white, pink and crimson from pots on the window sills. In one corner, a peach tree drooped its branches, laden with golden fruit. Near the tree, a door stood open. George crossed the courtyard and stepped inside Mr Duffy's workshop. This was one of George's favourite places in all the world and Mr Duffy was one of his favourite people. Mr Duffy was leaning over his workbench. On the wall beside him, clean but well-used screwdrivers, chisels and pliers of varying sizes were ranged in neat racks alongside hammers and saws. Rows of tiny paint pots and varnish stood on narrow shelves with fine, delicate brushes in long plastic boxes and pots of screws and nails. Mr Duffy's glasses were perched on the end of his nose and he was looking carefully at a thick piece of wood. He ran his long fingers gently over the surface. He was frowning a little with an air of concentration. He scrutinised the wood for a few seconds, then he stood up straight with an expression of satisfaction. At that moment, he noticed George and turned towards him with a welcoming smile. OK, 70 graders, so this was the first page of Mr Duffy's workshop. I don't want to put it all of it, inshallah, when we are going to explain page 59. Uh, we are going, inshallah, to let you listen to this record. smart record. So now, inshallah, we will start with what? With the first paragraph. So again, boys and girls, this is Mr. Duffy's workshop. All right? Let's take a little journey to Mr. Duffy's workshop. Let's take a George. With George to Mr. Duffy's workshop. Naqud her rihla lizghira ma George la ish la warshit is Sayyid Duffy. Okay? If you look here in the picture, you will find this is what? This is the courtyard. Hada huwa il baha u sahal khalfiya of Mr. Duffy's house. Okay? But before, let us divide this lesson into paragraphs. Abil man balla shu badal man qura u naqud in tawir in the war u kaza. تبع معي paragraph paragraph in order to understand everything تمام تبعوا معي because I'm going to explain the new vocabs I'm going to explain the new meanings I'm going to explain uh, the lesson or this paragraph sorry this paragraph the main ideas and we are going to ask some I'm going to ask you some already questions يعني يا هيك يا شباب ويا صبايا يكون معنا دفترنا دفتر واحد بكفي 100 ورقة أو 80 ورقة نكتب عليه الملاحظات وأمسك بليز 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 هولد يور بن امسك قلمنا تمام and write down the notes that I'm going to say and explain in this lesson ونكتب الملاحظات اللي إيش اللي إحنا لازم نكتبها على كتابنا يلا let's start so this is Mr. Duffy's workshop Grandfather wanted George to go to Mr. Duffy's house to collect a present. The present was for George's little cousin, Sally. Mr. Duffy phoned this morning. Grandfather told George, he's finished. Would you mind going now? George didn't mind going at all. He loved to go to Mr. Duffy's house at any time. He loved talking to Mr. Duffy about his work. Most of all, he was fascinated by Mr. Duffy's tools. Okay, so the lesson is started by uh, a wish for or a request from grandfather to George. That request is to ask uh, 
uh, George to go to Mr. Duffy's house. Okay. إذا التكست عندنا بلشت يا شباب بإنه إحنا بلشنا مع الجراند فاذر. مين هو الجراند فاذر؟ اللي هو طبعا أكيد كلكم بتعرفوا اللي هو الجد أو سيدو مثل ما إحنا بالنادي جدو سيدو إلى آخره. wanted this is what this is verb two ننتبه هون إنه want هي الverb one. wanted verb two wanted George to go to Mr. Duffy's house. ننتبه يا مس أول شيء عندي هون apostrophe وعندي أست الملكية اللي هي إحنا بنحكي لها ال possessive nouns إذا أنا هون بعبرت عن ملكية ال house to who to Mr. Duffy إذا لو بدي أجي أحكي لك إنه بدي أقول this house belongs belongs يعني بيعود لمين to Mr. Duffy أوكي إذا هذا المنزل بيعود to Mr. Duffy but حتى أنا ما أكتب كل هاي الجملة الطويلة وأعمل هيك اختصار short for فباجي بحكي Mr. Duffy's house ما باجي بحكي the house which belongs to Mr. Duffy أوكي okay? so grandfather wanted George to go to Mr. Duffy's house why why did the grandfather want George to go to Mr. Duffy's house طبعا ليش الجراند فاذر كان بده جورج يروح لمنزل مستر تافي؟ إذا لو سألت هذا السؤال why did the grandfather want to George why did grandfather want George to go to مستر Duffy's house. ليش كان بده اياه يروح لمستر دافيز هاوس يا ترى؟ طبعا الاجابه يا مس انسايد ذا باراجراف صح ولا لا؟ ما في شيء من برا الكتاب اللي هو طبعا تو كولكت بريزنت اذا وات تو كولكت بريزنت بيكوز هي وانتد جورج تو كولكت بريزنت لانه طلب من جورج جورج شو يعمل؟ انه ايش يعمل؟ يجيب كولكت يعني يجلب بروت to collect to bring sorry not brought he asked George to bring a present يعني هو بده اياه يروح لمستر توفيس هاوس ليجيب له هديه اوكي who was the present for يا شباب who was the present for لمين كانت الهديه يا مس لمين الهديه كانت this present was for George's little cousin لبنت عمه ممكن تكون بنت خاله واحنا قلنا يا مس انه كازن ممكن تيجي بنت العم او ابن العم بنت الخال بنت الخاله ابن الخاله ابن العمه الى اخره المهم اللي هو كازن بمعنى سوري لا ام سوري اي ميست اب اوه ماي جاد اوكي نو بروبلم احنا كازن عندنا اللي هو ابن عم نو 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 اي واز رايت سي لا انا كنت صح 100% اكيد بس حبيت اختبركم اختبر أه مدى تركيزكم معي يا سابا اتس اوكي سو جورج ليتل كازن سالي وهذا بيثبت لي انه كازن اما بيكون لبنت العم او ابن العم او بيكون لبنت الخال بنت الخال أه اوكي الى اخره ولكن اذا قلت لك تو جورج ليتل كازن تو جورج سوري جورج ليتل كازن لكن هم ما بنفع احكي لك انه سالي بلونجز تو جورج لا ولكن شو حيستخدمنا برضه هون استخدمنا اس الملكيه alright طيب هون يا مس اذا بتلاحظ وي هاف وات وي هاف ا كوتيشن مارك احنا هاي بنسميها كوتيشن مارك اللي هو ايش السبيتش لما بيكون عندي سبيتش ماخوذ بستوري او باي شيء فهون انا عندي شو حكى لنا هون هذا السبيتش لمين هذا السبيتش للجراند فاذر جراند فاذر جراند فاذر تول جورج مستر دافيس فون ذس مورنينج اذا مين مستر دافيس فون ذس مورنينج فون يعني مستر دافي اتصل في مين في الجراند فاذر اتصل بالجراند فاذر واي بيكوز هيز فينيشد هيز فينيشد اوكي طيب ننتبه هون يا مس انه الاس هون مش معناته هي از فينيشد لا هاي الاس يا مس اختصار الهاز مش احنا بنختصر الهاف بي ابوستروفي في كمان الهاز ابوستروفي اس بنختصرها كيف عرفت انه هي هاز فينيشد لانه انا اجى عندي هون verb 
to verb to finished is an he has finished would you mind going now what did mr duffy finished what did mr uh, sorry او ممكن نسالها بطريقه ثانيه what has mr duffy finished what has mr duffy finished he has finished the present of George's little cousin Sally. إذن هو انتهى من صنع هدية مين بنت عمه لسالي أو ممكن تكون بنت خاله وإلى آخره. Would you mind going now? هان إيش أعطى طلب منه الجد إنه يروح هلا. George didn't mind going at all. عندكو جورج هون أبدا. He does it. He didn't mind going at that place. أبدا نهائيا ما مانع إنه يروح. Why? Why George didn't mind going at all to Mr. Duffy's house? ليش جورج ما مانع أبدا إنه يروح لمستر Duffy's house? Because he loved to go to Mr. Duffy's house at any time. لأنه هو كان يحب يروح يزور إيش Mr. Duffy's. He loved to go. كان يحب الذهاب. كان بحب يروح على منزل إيش Mr. Duffy's house at any time. Any time يعني بأي وقت. عادي لو تقول له هلا بعد شوي كمان يوم كمان يومين روح عنده لو كل ساعة كل دقيقة اتس اوكي. Why why George loved to go to Mr. Duffy's house because he loved talking to Mr. Duffy about his work. أو ممكن أسأل سؤال ثاني What did George love to talk about with Mr. Duffy؟ شو كان يحب جورج يحكي مع Mr. Duffy؟ What did George شايفين احنا سألنا بالديد لانه انا عندي he loved لو قلت لك what did okay what did uh, George love to talk about with Mr. Duffy okay or love talking uh, to or why ممكن نسأل كمان uh, what kind of things or what did George like to talk about with Mr. Duffy او ممكن نحكي why did George I love to talk with Mr. Duffy. Okay, we have different different types of questions. All these, inshallah, we are going to take in uh, next lessons, inshallah. يعني رح نأخذ أكثر وأكثر عن the questions والطرق. إذا خلينا نحكي هون. He loved talking to Mr. Duffy. هو كان بحب يحكي ويتحدث مع Mr. Duffy about what about his work. كان يحب يحكي عن عمل about his work ننتبه للبرونون هاد يا شباب البرونون هيز بيعود على مين على جورج ولا مستر دافي طبعا بيعود على مستر دافي بيعود على مستر دافي ولكن هير هي هي بتعود على مين بتعود على جورج بتعود على جورج تمام إذا he loved talking to Mr. Duffy about his work. مش الهز بتعود على جورج لا أنا عندي الهي بتعود على جورج والهز بتعود على Mr. Duffy. Most of all, he was fascinated by Mr. Duffy's tools. يعني بأغلبها أو على الغالب إنه هي هي مين هو جورج برضو هي بتعود على مين على جورج. He was fascinated. Fascinated بمعنى Amused, or, مثلا, amazed by Mr. Duffy's tools. يعني fascinated, مندهش, or مندهل, مندهش, or مندهل. يا سابع بإيش ب Mr. Duffy's tools. Okay, يا سابع, because this is our first lesson. I'm not going to take more time. لأنه هذا أول درس ما رح أخذ وقت أكتر من هيك. I will finish. I will be finished. إن شاء الله. I'm sorry. Uh, we will continue talking about our lesson, inshallah. Sorry, I messed up because I'm very tired, but it's okay. We will continue talking about our lesson tomorrow and after tomorrow, inshallah. So please, 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 please don't forget to watch the video while you have your book in your hand. Please, نمسك كتابنا ونخلي الكتاب معانا. Hold your pen and write down every note. Thank you so much for being good listeners. See you inshallah on Monday. This was your teacher Tamara. This is your teacher Tamara Ayad. Inshallah, we will meet tomorrow. Bye bye, boys and girls.